<laughs> Shit. Hey, I got oh, that is recording. Uh, yeah, cutscene. We know what you wanted to say. <laughs> oh, look, there's a uh, hunter's reward. What the shit? We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. Something. He's rewarded for this. Fire, why do you care? He's a dick anyway, just let him die. Okay, was it just me or did that sound really dirty? Um. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Let me make sure we're recording. So, yep. Ooh. So, oh, wait, which... are these are these the obligatory kill for health animals? Yes. So, kill all the bunnies. Okay, so we got Icy Peak, we got Bamboo Terrace, and we got Spooky Swamp. Yeah, let's check out the ice level. Ah, ice levels. Give the dragon a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm sorry, it still bothers me. Why are his wings orange? Whoa, jeez, holy crap. Wow, we, we stepped... What? What? what is, you're supposed to talk to me. Well, I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. Well, I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but... Well, yeah, you're just turning around a whole lot. Now, where's the way? Oh, okay, wait, I would try to remember. Couldn't remember how to control the bloody thing. There we go. You killed the vulture! It's kill or be kill. What did that bird ever do to you? It, it, li it lived. Ironic considering they eat the dead. <laughs> Oh, the irony. <laughs> I gotta admit, Palmy... Palmy wanted to suggest we play Journey. Since it just came out full steam. What's Journey? A game where you just travel and you try to unravel the mystery of what happened. And that's all I know about it. I mean, I'll be willing to give it a try next time. But it is just... Essentially, I think if I remember, it's just a walking and puzzle game that apparently is really short. People say you can clear it in two hours. Huh. That works. Oh, jeez. I probably should not ran into a crate full of TNT. Probably not. Especially when it's like a cartoony looking crate full of TNT. Again, probably not. Oh yeah, that means you can take out a skyscraper. I do like how the boxes actually say TNT on it. Oh yeah. 
At least it followed that part of the 90s with 90s Looney Tunes. There you go. Hey, these guys have guns. Or something. I'm trying to... Oh, those are rats riding the TNT. Wow, suicide rats. Yeah, that's a new one. Come on, let me get the chair. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. You need oh. to work on your ice skating capabilities. Actually, I really will because I think that's... I can't remember if that's in this level or the next level where I got to be able to um, ice skate. Just to recap, those rhinos are shooting snowballs on, on, onto you, so you're, uh, so you kill them. Yeah. Okay. I am really glad it doesn't snow much here in Houston, because, uh, I, I think Zed and I could be in trouble one day. I... Yeah. God dang it, I'm gonna kill this freaking... <laughs> What did you call those again? What kind of chicken are they? Flying chickens. <laughs> this is why they wouldn't let me in the army. <laughs> like I'm just, in, I'm, I'm in the tank division. I'm just shooting at one thing. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I got him, sir. You went through 200 rounds of ammunition. But I, but got, I got him in the end. But I got them. wasn't even the enemy. You were shooting a bird for five hours. <laughs> yes, but I got fried chicken in the end. It's like, that was a vulture. It's like, shh, shh, the flying chicken. I mean, in the end, you can say most birds are just flying chickens. <laughs> I was going to say, is just flying chicken how you describe any bird that flies? I mean, pretty much. Oh, God. Oh wow, About he's air. Chicken. He's. I, I never realized they would do that. He's airplane. He was airplane his. Yeah, he was playing air guitar with his pickaxe. His climbing axe, I should say. Climbing pickaxe. Well, I mean. You gotta rock out, you gotta rock out. I like how these guys are wearing you know, steel armor that belongs with the French Musketeers, and yet they're wielding, they're wielding snowball guns. So what you're saying is they're slightly more effective than the French was. Lightly? <laughs> oh, oh, ow. <laughs> I didn't even go that far. <laughs> And look, it's our old friend Moneybag. Kill him! Oh, we can! Shoot him hell. repeatedly! Keep shooting! Maybe he'll die! God, if he actually could die and that just glitches out the game, that would be awesome. Just doing lazy jumping jacks at this point. I don't care if it glitches the game. We don't have to deal with him anymore. Kill the duck! Done. Oh, I, I'm sorry, the other flying chicken. Well, no, he's just a regular chicken. No, a duck is the swimming chicken. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to kill the flying chicken there. Ah, there we go. Are you at least going to eat said flying chicken? Hang on, let me see. I think this level actually got... Oh, glide to the pedestal. That's an easy one. Um, first, let me get my... Egg. Chet. Out of curiosity, does Spyro ever grow up in any of his games? Um, no. No. I mean, I think the closest is um, the one spiral game I haven't played, which is the one with the um, where you get the mo multiple elemental powers, and it 
the the remake of Spyro. Ah. They did. Where you can uh, fire, lightning, water, and everything else. Yeah, the one from the death battle. Yeah, that's cool. Because that was the only one I never played. But that was yeah. the one that apparently like got all of the powers. I can see that. I'm surprised you didn't play that one. It would seem like the most popular. Uh, no, I think that one... Well, you've uh, you seen what Sparks look like in that one. Oh, true. No, it was... um. I think it came out on PlayStation 3, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or the PSP. And I didn't own one. Do you know the name of it, or...? I think it was just called Spyro. Right, uh... Oh wow, that ice is really tough. No, I yeah, I can't remember the name of it. It was um. Spyro games in order. Uh, let's see. Great right, dragon, enter the dragon point, attack the rhino, throw a tail, but Spyro a new beginning. <laughs> Swimming chicken. Uh, and. Legend of Spyro of the Eternal Night. Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. Aim for one flying chicken and be done with it. Don't aim for both at once. Alright, listen. You sound like my drill sergeant. <laughs> what did you do to him? You've tried to tell me what to do, okay? I don't like being told what to do. I didn't join the army so you could tell me what to do. I can't even say that with a straight face. You joined the army for the fatigues, right? I joined the army because they said free bullets. <laughs> That's a lie. You didn't care about the guns, you just wanted Wait, to no, didn't you hear the president though? They were out of bullets for a while. Wait, really? Oh shit. That was one of the thing no, that was one of the things that Trump had said was that when he took when he started as, as president was that they said they were some arm some military guys said they were out of bullets. And I'm like, I'm sorry, the US military ran out of bullets? Yeah, that's an oxymoron. That'd be hilarious though. No, US military don't run out of bullets. Maybe they just misplaced them. That sound more believable. Right. I can totally believe the U.S. military would misplace shit, but fucking run out. Yeah. Sir, reports, report, soldier. Sir, bullets are missing, sir. What do you mean missing? There were 15 crates of bullets. Yes, sir. All gone missing, sir. How do we miss it? How do we misplace 15 crates of bullets? I don't know, sir. All right, well, just tell them that we're out of bullets until we find more. Yes, sir! No, but the thing is, that's not even what they said. That was literally just Trump pulling something out of his ass to make himself sound better. No. I'm surprised he didn't tr tweet it. No, he just said it in a press briefing, I think. No, I meant, like, how he tweet everything. That wasn't a tweet. He probably, he probably tweeted it, too, for a while. You saw how he tried to launch a war on, um... How he tried to declare a bail against making Twitter illegal, essentially. <laughs> Wait, do you guys not I, know about that? Can we pass that? No. I'm actually for that. Can we do that? Well, the way he wrote the bill is was really kind of... Um, I don't care. Can we do that? I, I'd like Twitter to be gone. Can we get rid of Instagram? Well, as much right? as I do hate tw Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and whatnot, the way he wrote the bill would have technically ruin like every other comp every other website out there as well that had like memberships yeah no he he wrote the bill like he write everything else half ass so yeah can we just get rid of twitter and instagram no. here i'll write the bill about i'll write the bill myself twitter is stupid and instagram is twitter for people who can't read they should be gone done <laughs> here's the problem though is that people actually make money off of That's those now <laughs> Even more reason to get rid of it. I actually don't have an issue with either of them, so I can't really say. It. I just don't like the people. I don't like when pe the people who excessively use them. I don't like people who make agree. 
Mostly because, you know, like, we, you know, Shadow or Fox, you and I went to college, we got degrees and everything, and who makes money? People who snap pictures and put them on their website. Yeah, pretty much. That doesn't, that doesn't make you die just a little bit inside? I mean, it make me die because I can't freaking do the same. That too, but still. I don't know, I'd have to die a little inside doing that. Okay, where's that platform? Right there. I know what you're thinking, Zed. I I'm surprised there's still bits of me left alive inside to die. Oh, uh, that's not at all what I was thinking. Bam. You couldn't give me that? No, that. I mean, I, I, I guess, but I'm... I mean, somehow you still have some tiny bit of faith in humanity, so at this point I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I really gotta get rid of that. I don't know why, humanity constantly lets me down. Okay. By the way, this is a bizarre place. Oh yeah. Well that's, I mean, that's Spyro in a nutshell, pretty much. Yeah. Wait. I mean, what would I expect from a purple and orange dragon? Okay, I can't keep going through that, that's what I thought. Um... Okay. okay, so, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What exactly is your objective right now? Get the eggs. Oh. <laughs> That's like the whole point of, um, oh wait, did I miss one? Oh, not the game. I, I, oh, wait, you are talking about the level arms here. Um, well, yeah, game and level. Get the eggs. It's all about the eggs. All about yeah. the egg puns. And I, I just gotta say, there are a lot more eggs in this game than what was shown in the very beginning. Step right up, Spyro. I always... <sighs> I'll be getting that money back. When we get to kick his ass, right? Oh yeah. Well, headbutt his ass and set his ass on fire, but yes. Good. Every time I start, will you please help me perform my ice dance? Thanks. Okay. Now, if they did this in compared to, you know, ice skating, have just like while someone trying to ice skate, they literally bring in the hockey team to try to tackle and take her out, take them out. I would watch com um, competitive <laughs> ice skating. Are you kidding? We should make this a thing. Where is your job as the competitive ice skater to try to dance and be um. And try and to just, you know, put the, the best move and not get, yeah, not get tackled by the hockey players. I like how these hockey players are in no way actually trying to play hockey. Well, I mean, no one really play hockey. They just put on the gear so they can beat the shit out of each other on ice. Really? Damn, I need to take up hockey. <laughs> yeah, we all went to the wrong, the wrong sport. We should went to ice, ice hockey. <laughs> I didn't go into any sport. We did it. Um, who's throwing the flowers? Yes. Um, Seriously, it? where did the flowers come from? Okay, last one, top of the ledge. There, there's no audience. Where did the flowers come from? Shh. <laughs> no, this is bothering me. Go back and find that audience. I'm one of the ju judges. What judges? There was literally no one in there. Okay. Someone explain the flowers to me. Wait, there's. Yeah, I, I, I want the flowers explained. <laughs> I'm funny. Wait, go here. Go, go west. But oh yes, I gotta go under the. Okay, I remember. I gotta go under the ice. Okay, I, I was worried when you said I gotta go under, and you went under a ferry for a second. Listen, don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge my lifestyle. Uh, 
Wait, where is... Okay, I think I gotta go. There was a way to break the ice, and I gotta get up there to get that. Okay, so... I got a lot of things to do. And no idea is how to do them. I know for the ice break, I gotta get on that ledge. But I don't remember how. Well, where are you from is usually a good icebreaker. True. Never give me a date, but true. <laughs> That's where. Strictly, he's shooting snowballs at us. You must Kill die. Him. Yeah, no, pretty much. That's why I'm not allowed in any snowy states. Listen. Really? Is that why? I heard that a lot of uh, Shadow R Foxes that were mysteriously ridden in yellow kept showing up. Mm. What the hell is that last thing? <laughs> what are you looking for? Um, The way to get... I gotta get on top. Um, no, I gotta get on top of a ledge right over there so I can break the ice right here so I can go on the water. I'm trying to remember how I get to that ledge. I'm gonna say... Oh wow, he can, I didn't know he could aim up. I have new respect for them. Do you really? Not really. Well, slight. Okay, so I gotta get up there. I suppose you can shoot yourself with a cannon. <laughs> No. Uh. Or it's can I make it to knock down an ice ridge or something? Cause I gotta say, half of that looks like it's leaning precariously. Or precariously. Yeah, precariously. Mm hmm. How do you R? I don't know why. Let me see. Okay, so clearly I gotta get over there. Um. Yet how? So I'm gonna assume going over here, jump over here, and then go around here. Uh, no, I can't make that jump. Hmm. No way I can make that jump. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no way I can make that jump. Well, well, I think. I might well kill something. Well, I think. Okay. I still got nothing, but that felt very satisfying. Well, you know. Killing... Sorry, killing various versions of chickens always does help anybody think. Oh, yeah. You don't have to feel bad about it. It's like... You know, killing cows. No one feel bad about that. No. Well, uh, except for Peter. But they don't count. They feel bad about everything. Every animal death. I mean, God, you can step on a cockroach and Peter will have a small tear on their eye, just like that Indian. Oh, the old Indian commercial Indian. with the Indian crying over the um, Garbage. damage. Yeah. Do they still use those commercials, or is, are those, like... Offensive, I think. I mean, were they really offensive? Um... Like, I've seen far more offensive things, because... Oh, jeez. Um... I, I, you know, that's... That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know why they, um... Zed, I don't know if you've ever seen those commercials. They may have been... Okay. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Basically, now. they're a commercial where, um... You see a bunch of... Like, essentially what... Is supposed to be a very nice landscape covered... Completely with garbage. And you see some lone Native American looking over the land just... Shedding a single tear. With sad music in the background? Yeah. No, I've never seen that. That sounds stupid. It kind of yeah, was. 
big thing when I mean when uh, I think when we were growing up, that was a big thing. We'd see that commercial a lot. Yeah, but, but then it disappeared. It was a and it was a meme too. It be, it was one of the first memes really. I can believe that. Because well, just think how many Looney Tunes and how many cartoons did a side episode <laughs> where um they did a joke about that where they had that one single guy shedding a tear over hey, something. Hell, it popped up in the Simpsons. Oh heck, it popped up in Future Futurama. That's true. And it, since it popped up in the Simpsons, it probably popped up in South Park. Well. Oh yeah, no, it popped up on everything. It's like, hmm. Like, I think it, one of the few media it didn't pop, in, pop up in was Pokemon. And I, I, I could be that because I only watched like. I don't know. There gotta be that one episode where you had that one trainer shedding a single tear because he saw a. No, actually, I think that Zed, you seen more of the um, Pokemon, um, you seen more of the Pokemon anime than the rest of us. Was wasn't there an episode where they was um, doing a pollution theme episode where they were showing, oh, these guys are bad because they're polluting the environment or something like that. If there was, I didn't see it. Okay, so there never was one. Dang it. I thought I can think of. Dang it. Okay, and that was the end of I this. I mean, keep in mind the whole theme would have been a bunch of grimers and mucks. And yeah, water. pretty much cleaning up the place. <laughs> that could work. Because yeah, I forgot that with um, coughing in the new Sword and Shield, he's coughing and grimer from and muck from the. Um, Sun well, it's not coughing in, in the gallery. It's only wheezing. Wheezing, but I know Muck and Grimer from Aloha also um, yeah. had the ability. Um, plus, two more level. Bamboo Terrace and Spooky Swamps. Uh, Zed, you can pick this one. Uh, bamboo. Bamboo, okay. We'll start the next pause. Let me end this.